in 2020, October, we decided to move from our present home where we had been for 20 years. And, and at that time, things we started preparing to move, but things did not go according to plan. So fast forward a year later, in 2021, we uh, approached this again and decided to move. And then at that time, we just made it a point to go forward with everything. And we jumped in feet first. And we decided that it was time to make the move from the city to more of a country life or country living. Um, and with no preparation, we started packing up the house. We started looking for a property and was not able to find anything um, in the metro area or right outside the metro area, was not find, able to find anything. Um, and then we came across this one property and I don't know if God told us this was the property at first, but my wife loved the property, I liked the property, and we set to move forward with purchasing that property. At that time, we were almost homeless because we had already sold our property. We were just waiting on the closing day. Well, <laughs> closing day came around, we get, was approaching. Um, when we got to the first property that we saw, we prayed over that property. The agent, my husband, we just, we just prayed about it because we simply knew what God had indicated in his Bible. When you still start seeing these things happening in the city, you need to move to the country. So we were just trying to be obedient. Well, we ended up, couldn't get that uh, situation worked out with the inspection. And so we started looking at other properties. Well, we could not find a house anywhere at all. We revisited that property again, and then we found out that he went ahead and completed things on the inspection that we were concerned about. So that same house that God showed us, we were able to purchase that property, and that's the property that we live in now. The real estate agent that was selling our house could not make it to the closing because her brother died right before the closing, a couple of days before the closing. So she was not able to make it to the closing table at all. In addition to that, the real estate agent that was doing the transaction on the house that we were buying, on the way to the closing, she got into a car accident. And she called me crying from the car, saying that she could not make it. She was so devastated. But Satan was just busy that particular day. And we just simply had to continue to move forward. And we just said, he is not gonna get the victory in this closing. And then we found out that there was a leak in the roof closing day, and which could have changed everything. But the guy came out to the house, fixed the issue with the roof. And in addition to that, we got additional funds paid to us at the closing table. So that was a beautiful thing. We had uh, money to pay the movers and they extended the time for us to move into the house. So my kids love it and I'm just so excited. Uh, that we made this transition. And any time that you hear God telling you to make a move, you need to listen to God's word. And God has blessed us as a result of that. And I know that there are many blessings to come.